Learn audio online with Audio Masterclass. AudioMasterclass.com. There are several aspects to gain staging throughout the recording process. Here I'm going to concentrate on setting the preamp gain. By the way, it's easy. Gain staging is not the complicated issue that a lot of people would like to tell you that it is. What I have here is a simple recording of a poem from an external sound source connected to the line input of my audio interface. All I need to do is set the gain and watch the meter in my digital audio workstation, which is Pro Tools, but you can use any digital audio workstation software. So I'll start with a setting that will work every time without fail. I'm going to set the gain so that the signal bobs up and down around the level of minus 18 dBFS. That's 18 decibels below the maximum level that a WAV file can handle. Your digital audio workstation, by the way, can handle levels much higher than that internally. Also, I'm going to keep an eye on where the peak level is. In this case, round about minus 10 dBFS. It doesn't have to be exact. You can go up to minus 6 if you like. Minus 6 would be about the highest you'd want to go, and I'll explain why in a moment. So here we go, bobbing up and down round about minus 18, peaking round about minus 10. I wandered lonely as a cloud that floats on high o'er dale and hill, when all at once I saw a crowd, a host of golden daffodils. Beside the lake, beneath the trees, fluttering and dancing in the breeze. Okay, that sounds good. The next question is, how high can you go without getting into trouble? Well, you can record all the way up to 0 dB FS, as long as the red light at the top of the column doesn't come on. Here's an example. I wandered lonely as a cloud that floats on high o'er dale and hill, when all at once I saw a crowd, a host of golden daffodils. Beside the lake, beneath the trees, fluttering and dancing in the breeze. This sounds good, but the problem is you've got absolutely no headroom. So if the person speaking or singing or the musician playing goes any louder, it's going to clip and you'll get distortion. By keeping the peak level down, it gives you headroom, so you don't have to worry about that red light coming on. You don't want that red light coming on because that means you have clipping in your wave file and that means distortion, and it doesn't sound nice. Okay, what does distortion sound like? This time, I've set the gain too high, so you'll hear the signal going into clipping, and you'll see the peak red light coming on. I wandered lonely as a cloud that floats on high o'er dale and hill, when all at once I saw a crowd, a host of golden daffodils, beside the lake, beneath the trees, fluttering and dancing in the breeze. So now we know what's wrong with clipping and why it's good to leave headroom. So I'll just say once again, bobbing up and down round about minus 18, peaking round about minus 10. That's a good level that always works. There are situations where you would leave more headroom, but that's when you've got a really uncontrollable signal and you've got no idea how it's going to peak. So in that case, you might set your peak level round about minus 20, just in case. So that was easy. We've covered half the ground already. But what if you set your input gain too low. What can go wrong then? So I have three examples. In the first, I've set the peak to be around about minus 20, the second, round about minus 30, and the third, round about minus 40. So these examples will be rather quiet, but we'll take a closer look in a moment. I wandered lonely as a cloud that floats on high o'er dale and hill, when all at once I saw a crowd, a host of golden daffodils. Beside the lake, beneath the trees, fluttering and dancing in the breeze. I wandered lonely as a cloud that floats on high o'er dale and hill, when all at once I saw a crowd, a host of golden daffodils, beside the lake, beneath the trees, fluttering and dancing in the breeze. I wandered lonely as a cloud that floats on high o'er dale and hill, when all at once I saw a crowd, a host of golden daffodils, Beside the lake, beneath the trees, fluttering and dancing in the breeze. What I'm going to do now is to compare all of these recordings by normalizing them. I'm going to normalize them to quite a high level, which I can do because it's already recorded and it's perfectly under control. So here's my original recording, which peaked at minus 10, normalized to a good, strong level. I wandered lonely as a cloud that floats on high o'er dale and hill, when all at once I saw a crowd a host of golden daffodils. Beside the lake, beneath the trees, 
fluttering and dancing in the breeze. So we can compare that with the second recording that peaked close on 0 dB FS, which in theory should have a better signal to noise ratio, but I don't think you'll hear very much difference. I wandered lonely as a cloud that floats on high o'er dale and hill, when all at once I saw a crowd, a host of golden daffodils, beside the lake, beneath the trees, fluttering and dancing in the breeze. And the third recording which clipped, we don't really need to hear that again, but hey, why not? I wandered lonely as a cloud that floats on high o'er dale and hill, when all at once I saw a crowd, a host of golden daffodils, beside the lake, beneath the trees, fluttering and dancing in the breeze. Now this is where it gets interesting because peaking at minus 20 dBFS, a lot of people would say that's a bit on the low side, especially people who've come up through analogue recording where noise really was an issue. You may be able to hear a slight increase in the noise level, but in a real life recording it shouldn't be too much of a problem. I wandered lonely as a cloud that floats on high o'er dale and hill, when all at once I saw a crowd, a host of golden daffodils. Beside the lake, beneath the trees, fluttering and dancing in the breeze. And the recording that peaked at minus 30 dBFS, we're going to hear that that really is too low a level. Listen to the noise in this. I wandered lonely as a cloud that floats on high o'er dale and hill, when all at once I saw a crowd, a host of golden daffodils. Beside the lake, beneath the trees, fluttering and dancing in the breeze. And finally, just to make sure you can hear the noise, here's the recording that peaked at minus 40 dBFS. Once this is brought up to a decent level, you really will clearly hear the noise. I wandered lonely as a cloud that floats on high o'er dale and hill, when all at once I saw a crowd, a host of golden daffodils, beside the lake, beneath the trees, fluttering and dancing in the breeze. So there you have it, gain staging for the initial stage of recording. Three things, don't clip, leave yourself some headroom and don't record too low in level, otherwise you will have problems with noise. I'm David Meller, Course Director of Audio Masterclass. Thank you for listening.